fix that. Here, let's look at this, actually. While I have the- while I'm in the main menu right now, might as well show everybody this thing. Because it always defaults to Shadowbringers. I guess it makes sense for the story to not be in Eorzea because of the events of The Realm Reborn, huh? I'm glad I didn't watch <laughs> this before playing. <laughs> I'm kind of worried now that I keep glancing over at the Shadowbringers intro, but that those are spoilers not even relevant to me yet. But so far, this seems to just be like a summary of the events in between. Definitely remember fighting that dragon to help Ishgard out. Oh, the dragoon. Mysterious dragoon. Fucking cool. And here it is. Heaven's word. I wish it would stay on here every time I booted it up, but it always defaults to Shadowbringers. But man, you know what? Immediately the main title music already better. Maybe, maybe it's because every time I boot up FF14, it starts out there. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know what language it is, but like, I like, I like just the piano. It's too much. It's too intense all at once. 
Let's go back. No. Work. Anyway, I fixed my uh, fixed my disk space. So I've been whenever I save videos, it's been saving to um to my SSD, and I'm like, no. <laughs> um. So I had it moved to my hard drive, and I'm like, okay, my SSD is only like 250 gigs, and it said, hey man, chill the fuck out. Also, I shouldn't be saving that many videos anyway. I never watch any of the videos that I save on here anyway, because it's, it's just FF14, but whatever. That's part of why I stream also, it's just I don't have to save the videos, I can just watch it on here. Can I climb up there? I can, it's like Tarzan's treehouse. I've only been playing for a little bit, also, because I don't want to stream the whole day. I heard you're, you've never faced a Vano before. Well, I'll spend enough time on patrol and you are sure to cross paths with them eventually. These birdmen are native in the floating isles. I say birdmen, but they're not at all like the Ixal, unless Ixal's mother was a gigas. Here, let me mark several locations on your map. If you discover any Vano in these areas, kill or drive them away. Brutal. I wonder if they're gonna extend the Moogle event then, because 6.0 got delayed. Pressing wrong buttons. Those are the Vanu? No. They're like bird people. All the enemies here are kind of like Alice in Wonderland levels of terrifying but also beautiful. I want to play Alice Madness Returns. It's on Humble Bundle. Just waiting for the right time. I'm trying not to buy so many games. Um, so that was part of the story that I was trying to tell earlier but just for whatever reason couldn't bring myself to finish. Um, I, I finished Demon Souls and I, I wanted to finish it relatively quickly um, because I, I wanted to buy Ratchet and Clank but I couldn't bring myself to buy another game without finishing any of the games because I'm playing this, which I know for a fact I'm not going to finish it. Um, 
not not anytime soon at least. But I'm also playing Devil May Cry and play. I was playing The World Ends with You. I'm playing. I was playing Demon Souls, you know. And like I've, I've been opening up these games and like not finishing them, which is definitely not my style. At least it wasn't before. I guess it is now. Um, fucking PC Steam sales and all that shit. And I'm just like, oh, this thing's two bucks. I'll buy it. Literally bought all of the Hitman games. I think for on sale because it was like three dollars. Or something. I bought something which was on sale, and I just said fuck it, because then the uh, it was seven ninety nine on sale, and then nine ninety nine if I wanted the whole thing. I'm like okay, so I spent ten dollars on that. I'm like man. Nope. They kind of look like fat birds. Did I say what I was gonna buy? I, I, now that I'm done with Demon Souls, though, um, I ordered Ratchet and Clank because I want to play Ratchet and Clank. My brother is trying to get me to play Ghosts of Tsushima, and that game looks gorgeous. If you have an HDR television, um, definitely take advantage of that. But I was like, how much is an HDR TV? It's like twelve hundred dollars. I'm like, I'm not buying, not spending twelve hundred dollars right now. <laughs> I just bought, I just bought a PS5. I'll wait. I don't even know if I have room for an HDR television right now. His TV was huge. He also watched, uh, we also watched Promare. Um, watched Promare for the first time. That shit is hype as fuck. I love that movie. I love how bright and colorful it is. It looks so good. And they do these bits in it, and I'm just like, man, I kind of wish Studio Trigger animated the My Hero Academia movie. <laughs> no spoilers, but there's a part in, um, in World Heroes Mission where they try to do a very interesting dynamic camera angle. And if you have seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It looks super cool, but the animation to Studio Bones just doesn't, does not quite cut it, you know? I think Studio Bones also does the animation for the actual main series itself. I think that's fine, but for like the really fast paced like movements and stuff like that, you really want to get, um, you really want to get an animation studio like Trigger for that. Um, studio Bones, I think, um, or whoever animates, um, whoever animates, not even the Demon Slayer, uh, um, maybe, uh, is it, is it Jujutsu Kaisen? Who animates Jujutsu Kaisen? Um, Studio Mappa? Opening. The intro. Yeah, I don't know. But, um... I guess them. Studio Mappa. Maybe it was too much for a day without a skirmish. Um, but definitely Trigger was much better at that. Because they do the exact same thing. I feel like I feel like incorporating two, 3D into anime um, is something that the, the uh, anime, anime uh, studios are still trying to um, understand. I think that Promare did a really really good job. They had like the budget for it also. Um, it doesn't seem like it didn't seem like Studio Bones had the budget. I think that's what the problem was. Pride of our camp, the wanted protector is in perpetual state of need and repairs. This is where ambition comes to die. If you have an aspirations for advancement, you'll be right at home. <laughs> you still want them to psych them up? Okay. 
Do I have the rest of this outfit? The feet. Oh, I'm getting the feet right now. Okay, I do have all of it. I just wanted to double check, make sure I got them all. Anyway, let's go psych up the team, shall we? Let your dreams be dreams. Don't do it. Really, go talk to <laughs> Natalie. Okay. Boy, slain any Vanu champions yet? No? Oh well, let me know when you have so I can make myself presentable for the. Look at this, uh. Look at this screenshot right here. Look at that. Looks crazy. Is it an attack? What should we do? What should we do? Oh. No one. Let me fool there for a moment, old boy. An amusing jest, albeit a tad cruel. Surely you must realize how unsuited I am to the monotony of mere sentry duty, yet still you tempt me with the promise of excitement. No, this won't do. This won't do at all. Lady Leniat will give me a grand mission as befits my station. Sorry, Lady Lenny, it. <laughs> it is crazy how this feels faster, <laughs> even though it's clearly not. Do I have to psych up Lady Lenny at it also? It looks like I do. No, I don't. Someone else. In the hut? Behind the hut. Is there anything fluffier than a cloud? <laughs> Oh, what is it? <laughs> is this- am I just like screaming next to them? It, lo it looks like I am. <laughs> Oops, I went the wrong way. Why so serious? Gods, where did that come from? This works again, right? Okay. Yeah, it looks like I fixed the controller. Mm, 
Many thanks. <laughs> Lord Manny looks at what? Well. If Lord Manolin is going to demand a more dangerous duty, then I expect Lady Lanyette will want you to accompany him. You might as well speak with her sooner rather than later. There's no use avoiding the inevitable. That Ninky gauge saves, doesn't it? Maybe it resets whenever I move between areas, because I don't even remember fighting anything when I started the game. <laughs> Wait, yes I did. Never mind. That's super untrue. Uh, Lord Emanuelina has just informed me that mere sentry duty is beneath him. I understand we have you to thank for this epiphany. Well, there's nothing for it but to give him something more demanding then. Can I count on you to keep him safe? Hmm. Excellent. We are in constant need of fresh water at Clamp... Clamp... Cloud Top. Camp Cloud Top. So there are no underground sources we can tap with wells. However, there is a unique variety of crystals we have recently discovered which may enable us to obtain water through other means. These spring crystals can be found in Vol Cyan Siran, the east of here. I will have you and Amanda Lane bring one up back to us. You may have to contend with the feral beasts which populate the lakes, not to mention farm new scouts ranging from their nearby settlement. Of course, that all pales in comparison to keeping a young lord entertained, but you have doubtless grown accustomed to that by now. Good luck, and be safe. I wonder, do you get to go to Doma? Doesn't look like it. Whatever this question mark is. I assume these are all... Um, Stormblood and Shadowbringers areas. Mm, Lady Lenny, I told you to tell me about my mission once again. If I didn't know any better, I'd swear she's avoiding me. Anyway, what is it? You're not making this sound terribly appealing, still. I should be glad to have you along. Come along, then. Yeah, let's walk everywhere. Never mind. Let's do a little bit faster than walking. If I could fly! I do love that flying means that you can like... You, you, kinda, you can kind of ignore the terrain a little bit. I quite enjoy that. I don't know how many quests are in Heavensward, but I assume after this I'll be expecting a dungeon sometime soon because I did the other brother. I guess once I'm done with his errands, I'll, I'll have something. Maybe. Possibly. In any case, I want to turn... <sighs> I want to turn the stream off at some point. I'm waiting on a package. I'm still waiting for a ratchet and clank. Mary of Vanu in sight, how disappointing. Could do with some sport. I know, why don't you and I make it a competition? So whoever finds the superior specimen wins. Alright, saying it's gonna show up today. Get left. Get left like four hours ago. Arriving today by 10 p.m. Great. It's gonna show up at 11. That's what that means. Which sucks, because the, the Amazon guy was here earlier, did not have my package. Whatever. Oh, look at that. I like that mount. To 
too strong. Might as well also attack it. It does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Lenniette. Okay. Oh, I see. There's like a million of them here. I was like, what is that? Casting a shadow on top of me? Are these not the two that I just touched? This reminds me of Mario, <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Oh man, what is that? Gross. This seems like it's taking a lot longer. What is that over there? Jellyfish? over there and grab it. That's so far away. Is there even another? Oh, there totally is another crystal over there.
are getting strong. Alright. This seems to be the end of this area. I can't wait to jump- you know what actually this reminds me of? Um, Skyward Sword. <laughs> Maybe it's the clouds on the bottom, I don't know. But it also reminds me of- <laughs> reminds me of Mario. I was hoping to play Ratchet and Clank today. I ordered the I ordered the game early this morning so I could like. Uh, I thought maybe I could get it today or tomorrow. I'm glad. I mean, I'm, at least it's coming today and not Tuesday, cause like, um, I don't have another day off until Saturday, I think. And I'm like, ugh, don't want to deal with that. My birthday's coming up soon too. Not doing anything, as it turns out. Just work. Didn't really get enough time to like plan anything with anybody, any of my friends. Maybe just get like a dinner or something. Who knows? I wonder if- oh, that counts? I guess it did. I wonder if, um... The amount of damage you take from fall damage varies depending on what mount you're on. Crystal. I lost. I lost my boy. Oh look, I was going there. Boy. You know what? The game says don't explore. We, you will explore soon. Give it a second, says the game. that it's kicking up dirt and not water, but I get it. <laughs> That'd be too much to do, I guess. It's literally going where I went. <laughs> oh shit. Master Ken, Lord of Manalane, has been taken by the Vanu. Of course he has. He fell into this dungeon. Quick. I might actually just do some of this off stream. 
just because oh yeah it's definitely a dungeon <laughs> or or an event it's gonna i don't know never mind it's an event um just because Love everyone just running Praetorium all over again. <laughs> Such a devastation. Um, I'll try to do as much of this on stream as I can. I'll try to do other stuff, but sometimes you want to experience the story without without having to worry about the the stream, you know. Cool that I finally get to use all my shit though. My all my abilities that I never had access to this whole time. I assume he's up there. fight the chief. It's me untying. Glad I have a combo for my uh, for my uh, AOE now.
Cool. Walk. Walk, bitch. <sighs> Thanks. Anger of Honu, chief of mighty Vondo, roars like blackest storm clouds. <laughs> is you? Is this bird man wearing a bird mask? Imagine if I. I mean, I guess. Never mind. I guess it's. Offer Netherlands to the wear white. Human masks all the time. Cloud sea swells and he Just comes. Looks silly. Why not like a dragon? That's, that's just the floating light. The white, mighty Bismarck, Lord of the Mists! A flying whale? By the fury, it's a primal. We must away. Oh, I forget that. Mm. When he nods. Oh my god, don't die, bro. Damn. Sid? Bloody typical. All right, we're going in. Hey, his I voice see. changed also. I don't remember him being British. Then again, it's been a while since I've heard his voice, so I don't know. He could be right. I think everyone got news voice actors for Heaven's Word. They just leave them. You got a you got a new shirt. You got a new shirt. Sweet. Digging the outfit. Still wish he was blonde. Gods only know what might have happened had we not been around to save you. No need for thanks, though. Not as if you haven't done the same for us on a few previous occasions. Alright, more than a few. blind chance that brought us together this time. In case you were wondering, the Holy See has petitioned the Ironworks for assistance with this creation of theirs, to protect her. Apparently they just can't seem to get her flying. 
Anyway, I came to Camp Cloudtop to cast an eye over the ship, only to learn that you had arrived some few days before with an Ishgardian lordling in tow. Small world, I thought, just as said lordling's manservant skittered. Sorry. Manservant. Skittered interview, babbling about his master having been captured and you risking all to rescue him. And the rest, as they say, is history. Right, well, I hate to cut short a reunion, but I am here on business after all. And the boys are already hard at work. Don't worry, old friend, we'll speak again soon, I promise. Later, Leonardo da Vinci. Appears to be rather pleased with himself. I admit it, it was an incredibly harrowing experience. I could very well have died, you know. Me! Dead! By risking life and limb in the line of duty, I did succeed in uncovering the existence of a new primal, and that old boy is no small feat. I have made his an historic discovery. A fact even Lady Laniette will have no choice but to acknowledge. I am rather looking forward to basking in the sunshine of her praise. Speaking of which, isn't it time we made our triumphant return? Interesting. Got Sid up here and I got Iceheart in the other direction. And we're friends now. You and I are friends now. Alright, let's see. It might be different because of how the distance. Really. I feel like I feel like uh I feel like it definitely does affect how much damage you take depending on what what you're on <sighs> oh. Oh. of course I like alter my sleeping schedule right before I have to do an overnight shift so not, I'm completely awake right now but I'm sure that I'm sure that when it comes to midnight, I'll be like dead asleep. Let's make sure I know where I'm going tonight. <laughs> I work at two different locations, and if I go to one, um, oh, there you go. That's much closer. Yeah, actually, never mind. It's much farther away. I'll just have to leave early. I have to get food also. <sighs> Praise Aloni. I feared the worst. What happened out here? A primal? Are you sure? Yeah, now that I think on it, the, this Bismarck is reminiscent of the white whale of Vanu legend. A massive creature set to swim in the sea of clouds. Well, I have learned of comparable summonings. The presence of the Vanu's god was certainly explain the sudden change in their behavior. Um, toward the people of Camp Cloudtop. Ah, you mean to say that they have fallen under the primal's influence? Are we forgetting something important, Lady Laniette? A little. I hate this guy. <laughs> Why, yes, you're right, of course. Master Ken deserves all that and more for having risked his life to rescue such an esteemed personage. Well, if there's not else to discuss, I would depart for Ishgard forthwith. The Holy See and the Temple Knights must be informed of this new threat without delay. But of course, Master Ken, you have done more than enough here. Pray return to Ishgard with Lord Harshifar. And give my warmest regards to the Count. No more forays in enemy territory. I can see my services are no longer needed. Take care, Lady Laniette. May our next meeting take place under more felicitous circumstances. Oh, he's kind of annoying and I kind of don't like him. <laughs> All's well that ends well, eh? To the airship landing, then. We can speak on the journey home. I 
but she got rocked just a little bit. The Holy Sea of Ishgai. Are any of my friends online with me? No one. <laughs> no one's online. Logistics. I confess I have always been rather fond of airship travel. Chill at the wind upon your face, the warmth of the blood pumping in your veins from the excitement. I find the whole experience indescribably invigorating. I'm happy to simply devote joy of having cheated death yet again. Aha, uh -huh, in any event I must make for the congregation and inform Sir Emmerich of all that has occurred. A man in should have returned to the manor by now. Why not go and see if his recovery is ordeal? Okay. Let me change that. I didn't know you could change your chocobo feathers. Thank you. 
I wish the other brother was here also. Maybe if I'd done back to back. Oh, it's you, Sora. Gods, why did you have to strike me so hard? Father, he he did not approve of our <laughs> he got fucking whipped. <laughs> not easy playing the hero, is it? Uh Is it supposed to be like a child or is it supposed to be like is he just supposed to be like really short? Because like my character is short. That's like a small. That's like that's like a small, small person. Black chocobo whistle. I get another chocobo? My lord, the Count much desires to speak with you regarding your time with Lord Artorio and Lord Emanlane. If you'd remain here for a moment. Please talk so I remember the what you said. Thank you. Returns. I thank cannot you. thank you enough for saving young Emanelaine's life. Aye, aye, he told me everything. I've also received letters from both House Zamile and Durandere praising your conduct and that of House Fortom. You've won as much honor, my friend. My lord. My lord. Speak. Pray forgive the intrusion, my lord, but I, I bring grave tidings. Master Alfano and Mistress Tataru have been detained on suspicion of fomenting heresy. What? Hmm. They... They were observed entering a tavern in the lower levels on some half dozen occasions. There, it is claimed, they made a number of inquiries. Huh. Inquiries which brought them into contact with certain um, elements. It was this which prompted a Knight of the Heavens War to demand that they be questioned. Sir Grido, my lord. The Heavens Ward. Oh, hey. That's the name of this expansion. Sir Grino is a brute. An exceedingly accomplished brute, but a brute nonetheless. Alas, he is also a son of House Zamayo. 
How quickly we forget the petty nature of men. I'd wager your friends are no more than pawns in another of my countrymen's games. Such is the way of things between the high houses. Though you have won the hearts and minds of many of my countrymen, there are those who will never be swayed. Men who will dismiss your efforts and resent your successes, even as we celebrate them. Yet the truth will avail us not if we cannot prov prove their innocence. You would do well to speak with Sir Emmerich of the Congregation of our Knights Most Heavenly. He will know more of these charges. Like, why is it so far away? I love the I love the the music here. <laughs> these are cool. I like these light weapons that everybody has. Want my own. <laughs> hey, it's him. It's Duke Devlin. It has been too long, Sora. Well, that this visit came under happier circumstances. You are come to plead for Master Alphano and Mr. Sataru, I take it? Word of the entertainment reached us while I was delivering my report on the Vanu Primal. Truly, I know not which is more ludicrous, these charges or that flying feathered whale. That Sir Grino's accusations are baseless, I have no doubt. Refuting them will be difficult, however, as he is a Knight of the Heaven's Ward. I speak of the personal guard of the Archbishop, the twelve finest knights in all of Ishgard, sworn to serve his eminence alone. Suffice it to say, their testimony is unimpeachable, and I have not the authority to challenge their actions. Just play like sexy back in the background in your head. I can't play it, I might get copyright, <laughs> but... After all the science have done, routing the heretics and defeating Shiva, helping us to defend the steps of faith and drive back the Dravanian horde, after proving themselves true allies on countless occasions, is there not we can do? I fear there is but one path left to us. We must demand tri trial by combat. But of course. In a trial by combat sanctioned by the Inquisition, the victor's claim is judged true regardless of the petitioner's standing. Under Ishgardian law, a trial by combat pits the accuser against the, 
against the accused. In this instance, Master Alfino and Mistress Tataru would be expected to face Sir Grino in a second of his choosing, another Knight of the Heavens Ward, most like. Two of them? By the fury, that can hardly be considered fair. Master Alfino's magical talents will not have gone unnoticed, meaning that he will have no choice but to participate. Mr. Sataru, on the other hand, is quite obviously bereft of martial skill and should be afforded the right to name a champion to fight in her stead. Lest you doubt, I am ready and willing to serve in this capacity, as I am sure as Lord Hoshifant, that all here present know that you are the most accomplished warrior among us, and mayhaps in the realm at large. It's a terrible Californian accent. You'd think I'd do better. <laughs> then it is settled. I will visit Master Alfino at once and inform him of our intentions. Sora, meet me at the tribunal when you have made ready. Until then, my friend. Say, so can I talk to everybody? No. That they should regard the Scions with such suspicion even after you stood with us on the set of faith. It is bad comedy. It's unlike the grave injustice you suffered in Ulda, this wrong way swiftly be righted. I know, this is the exact same plot. <laughs> the trial will be held at the Supreme Sacred Tribunal of Halonic Inquisition. Inquisitory Doctrine. I will be in attendance, as will many others, with a vested interest in the outcome. Stint not in your preparations, my friend. The Knights of the Heavens Ward will provide a stern test for even one such as you. Cool, thanks. Okay, is everybody else just really short? Am I just too tall? I, I always assume that the Vieras are like, wait, oh, never mind. She's a, she's a cat like me. Okay, never mind. Let me coat. Did this guy always have a chocobo head? I don't know why he keeps recommending me to wear all these, like... Look at this. Strength, Dex, Vit, vi Intelligence, Mind, Piety, and 1. Like, why does he keep recommending me to wear these worse rings? I'm gonna get rid of these. Dark Knight class. Ah.
Is Dark Knight a uh, tank? Yeah. Huh. Maybe. Let's do it anyway. Listen carefully, Sora. When the trial begins, the petitioner will be asked to restate his charges and the accused invited to respond. Then, in accordance with the law, they will be asked to restate their request for a trial by combat. Once the High Adjudicator acknowledges Mr. Taro's right to name a champion, that is when you must make your entrance. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Sir Grino's face when he sees his true opponent. It will be priceless. More seriously, should you begin to lose heart, look to me in the stands, and I shall cheer so loud you will wonder how you could ever have contrived to doubt yourself. Now, are you ready? Go. Go, 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 go. That we are smoke. gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. Petitioners, step forward. Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Leveilleur. Taro Taro, you have heard the charges leveled. Her last you. name is Taro. I never knew that. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Levier, am innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Taro Taro, am innocent of this charge, but I am no warrior and cannot fight. So, I claim the right to name a champion! To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Please. The, the fucking warrior of light. The sky pirate himself. Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend. Let us put an end to this mama's farce. I already forgot what Alpha No sounds like in the base game. <laughs> but his voice definitely does sound younger here. Getting lots of like Game of Thrones vibes, honestly. And I really like like medieval fantasy, you know, high fantasy and all that stuff. Um, but after having taken a look at Game of Thrones, you know, at least the first few seasons, I really, really liked. Oh, Haloni, render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked. And it makes me more uh, uh, palatable to this to this kind of story.
I supposed to attack that thing? Well, doesn't matter. He's dead. They, I mean, we won! The Fury has spoken. You, he you are hereby acquitted of all charges. Blessed are we who receive of her wisdom and see justice wrought by her divine hands. Petitioners accused, go forth in peace. I wonder when they, s when they stop doing trial by combat. Is that even a thing that happened regularly? Delivered from an untimely demise yet again. My thanks, as always. Hmm. What a splendid victory! See how you strove in the face of adversity. The brave young souls bound together by the present what bonds of camaraderie? Why it stirred me to the very depths of my soul. Having been treated to such a rousing spectacle, it seems only right that I present you with a humble token of mine adoration. Admiration, pray receive of me this chocobo whistle. Here, ready to fly. <gasps> Ye. Magnificent is she not? Strong yet sleek, elegant yet eager. What say you, Sora? Will you take her for your steed? Do I get to name this one also? The chocobos are prohibited in the Supreme Sacred Tribunal. Your steed must remain outside. Compass. What is that? Ether currents. When riding this mount, you will have the ability to fly, provided certain conditions have been met. You must first find and attune to all the local ether currents. You will need to complete certain quests, however, most can be discovered by exploration. To aid you in this endeavor, you've also obtained the Ether Compass, which will provide you with both the bearing and the distance of the nearest Ether current upon use. Should you lose this compass, you may speak with Gil Gibraltar at the Forgotten Knight to obtain another. Select Travel from the main menu, followed by Ether Currents. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I should hotkey that then. Black the Chocobo? Strange habit of squatting when left to itself. <laughs>
Maybe I should have that here too. Okay, cool. True reward for your effort is the exoneration of your comrades. It should be released upon the completion of certain minor formalities, which I mean to see too personally. In the meantime, pray return to Fort Tom Manor. Count has done so already, and will doubtless be re eager to discuss the day's events. Sounds a little confusing, but I think I get the gist of it. It just lets me fly in certain areas. I guess it's just to give me a chance to just fly. <laughs> but now I have to do a bunch of side quests, which is probably um, where I would be able to get um, Haloni smiles on us yet again, Master Ken, guiding you to victory and setting your comrades free. I confess I did fear for your safety, which is not to say I doubted your prowess, you understand. I merely knew the strength of your opponents. <clears throat> you do have a habit of exceeding my expectations. If I was me, I would fucking... <laughs> I was gonna say... I'm glad he did. I'm glad he didn't say, "Ah, oh, you should have called on me." And blah, blah, blah. My lord, we have just received a message from the vault. His Eminence, the Archbishop, requests the presence of Master Kin. <laughs> Personal summons is indeed a great honor, and given recent events, you would be wise not to delay. We shall speak anon. A priest will be waiting for you outside the vault. Identify yourself to him, and he will escort you inside. Cool. What time is it? I might only stream until like maybe 5 o'clock or something. Just check on my package real quick. I hope it comes at like seven at least. I wanna install it. <laughs> my stream summary. Oh, because I because I turned the stream off earlier. I forgot. Actually, here I should do this. Um, the vault, huh? The tribunal. Oh, it's just right there. Spending a lot of time around like cathedrals and shit. Here and in Demon Souls.
Your Eminence, it is my honor to present to you the Warrior of Light. I have heard the tales of your many grand endeavors. The Lord Commander has also been most effusive in his praise. I am Thordon VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church, and I bade you come here that I might offer my personal apologies. You will forgive me for not calling upon you as courtesy would dictate, but as you can see, my more sprightly days are long behind me. But uh, okay. your companions were wrongly accused of heresy and subjected to gross indignities. This, I am sorry to say, was the result of negligence on the part of our nation's protectors. Negligence born of an excess of zeal. Is that not so, Sir Zephyrin? Yes, Your Eminence. Regrettably, it would appear that we of the Heaven's Ward were in receipt of erroneous information. Sir Grino has ever been headstrong. He pressed charges before the truth had been ascertained, for which I most sincerely apologize. An unfortunate misunderstanding born of an earnest desire to serve Ishgard but one which should never have occurred. For who could doubt the character of those who bested Shiva and drove the Horde from the steps of faith? Not I, that much is certain. That will be all, Sir Zephyrin. I would speak with our guest in private. Your Eminence, I... <laughs> As you wish, Your Eminence. That will be all for today. Privacy is a luxury. Rarely afforded one in my position. Now, tell me, young man, what do you know of the Asians? Much and more, I shouldn't wonder, being the bringer of light. You should know that I myself have met with them, have entertained them as guests, even. Hmm. Those harbingers of chaos and strife offered us power that we might continue our war against the dragons. I have no intention of aiding their cause, of course, nor less of being their Yet, were I to refuse them outright, I should learn naught of their true objectives and remain powerless to stop them. Thus have I hearkened to their words with interest and paid lip service to their beliefs, biding my time and preparing for the inevitable conflict. And why do I tell you this? Because there is naught in this world they fear more than the power of the warrior of light. If we are to rid ourselves of these vile interlopers, we must needs work together. With our combined strength, I have faith that we can wrest Eorzea from their grasp and pave the way for a lasting peace.
있고 I confess, I was more than a little concerned when I learned that you had been summoned to the vault. What did they want with you? Well, well. <laughs> a formal apology and an admonishment of those responsible. I see my fears were wholly misplaced. By the gods! The Archbishop freely admits to consorting with Asians. So... Their ambitions extend to Ishgard as well. So now that the Archbishop, the whole town knows about us, right? Then House Four Tom should no longer be in trouble with like holding us here, because we're fine. Everyone know, everybody knows. We will have new primals to contend with ere long. Of that you may be certain. It is but a matter of time. Yet shorn of the support of our missing allies, what can we realistically hope to achieve? In the midst of all the excitement, I completely forgot to tell you. When I was asking around about the Scions, I heard the most awful rumor. General Rauburn is to be executed for crimes against the Sultanate. How do you forget that? If the Flame General dies, we will lose a staunch ally and the one man capable of holding the Sultana's assassins to account. Lord Orshifon was wise to counsel restraint, but this business will brook no delay. We cannot permit this execution to take place. We must save Raoban. Though the situation calls for urgency, it would avail us too little to charge. It would avail us little to charge headlong to Uldar without a plan. Before we can formulate a plan, however, we must first learn how things stand in the Sultanate, which is why I propose that we visit Limsa Laminza. Now you heard me right. While you were about your altruistic endeavors, I acted as an intermediary in trade negotiations between House Futong and a Laminsian in a Laminsian consortium. During said negotiations, an opportunity to send word to the Admiral presented itself, and I duly seized it. I'm happy to report that we have we yet have a stout ally in Limsa. The Admiral has pledged her full cooperation in any effort to rescue Raoban. Accordingly, I have agreed to meet with her that we might discuss how best to proceed. Naturally, I told her to expect us both. Your presence never fails to embolden our allies, after all. When you arrive in Lim's Laminta, make yourself known to Sergeant Xanthio at Bulwark Hall on the lower decks. He will admit you to the bridge. It's like, who? Or you mean the, the button I have to press to get into the bridge? Okay. Go to Lim's Laminta. Man, these warps are getting expensive.
Oh, there's no one here. What's happening? Okay, there it is. I was like, what's happening here? Is everyone doing the same quest that I am? I assume they- I assume that they bring you around people that are more than likely doing the same quest as you, but I wouldn't know. Friends, it is good to see you safe and well. I will admit I had not counted on you seeking, let alone finding refuge within the Holy See, but full glad was I to learn that you had. Thankfully, we had allies there who took us under their wing, <coughs> and theirs was not the only aid we receive, I suspect. When we fled Aldar, we fully expected to become wanted men, known to all and hounded at every turn. Yet that did not come to pass. On the contrary, it would seem the charges against us have not been made public. Might we have you to thank for that, Admiral? Sharp as ever, Master Elfino. On Marshal Terrapin's urging, the Elder Seed Seer and I demanded that the Syndicate suppress news of the Scion's alleged crimes until such time as irrefutable evidence could be found. Our argument was simple. Lacking proof to accuse the saviors of the realm of so unlikely a crime would have the people up in arms. In their wisdom, the Syndicate agreed, as you yourself have seen. There is something you should know. Some few days prior to the banquet, the Elder Seedseer and I were summoned for a private audience with the Sultana. There, she revealed her intent to announce her abdication, that she might pave the way for the establishment of an Uldan Republic. What? But such an announcement would have plunged the entire nation into chaos. She was well aware of that. It was for fear of what might ensue that she summoned us. Her grace wanted the elder Seedseer and I to lend Raubarn a helping hand, you see? To aid him in preserving the peace during the transition. So, having somehow caught wind of her plan, Lollarito and Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination in the hope of maintaining the constitutional status quo. But they must have known that her death would sow as much chaos as her abdication. Chaos from which Teleji alone might feasibly stand to profit. Surely Lollarito would never knowingly... Ah, could it be? I dare not hope. The Uldan authorities have yet to announce the Sultana's passing. To allay any suspicion that may arise from Her Grace's absence, they have issued a statement to the effect that she is presently convalescing from illness. It's just... the illness of death. Mayhap they're waiting for a fitting moment to break the news, or mayhap they know of some other reason to delay. Something else has been bothering me, Admiral. I was dismayed to learn that General Raubarn is to be executed. Yet upon hearing the news, I could not help but wonder why he had been kept alive for so long. Pray mistake not my meaning. I am, of course, overjoyed that our friend still draws breath, and that he might yet be saved. But if his enemies truly wished to eliminate him, they could have done so immediately. I see no reason for this delay. Aye, you've struck upon an important point, Master Alphano. Following his capture, Raubarn had been held in the Marasaja pit within Uldar. In recent days, however, he has reportedly been moved to an unknown location. Queerly, it was not the Brass Blades who spirited him away either, but a band of soldiers decked in blue. Hmm. The Crystal Braves. Aye. If I read the winds aright, the arrangement between Lord Lollarito and the Braves has come under strain. At any rate, if we're to rescue Raubarn, we'll have to find him first. And you'll be glad to hear that I have already entrusted the task to those best able to see it done. Our friends of Doma.
Raoban's survival is vital to the Eorzean Alliance. We can ill afford to lose him. But I cannot send troops into Ulda to expel the end of the Alliance. In war, like as not. There has to be a rescue. It falls to you and yours to attempt it. They always have some fucking reason why they're not gonna help us. So I have founded the Crystal Braves, and I who must take responsibility for their actions. Uh, damn it. Back to Revenant's Toll. I wonder, is it cheaper if I teleport back? Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> Not getting a lot of gold. Let's finish this up and I'm gonna take a rest. Probably watch a movie or something. I actually do want to start uh, Loki. Now that I'm caught up on all the Marvel shit, at least up to um, up to the Spider-Man movies, I'm caught up. Uh, I haven't seen Black Widow or Shang Chi yet. Shang Chi, I hear a lot of people like. Oh, Shang Chi. I knew in my heart you were safe, but to see you again in the flesh, words cannot well express my relief. Alright, um, I'm gonna cut it here. Cause I am tired. Um, but... Um, we'll do this again maybe tomorrow, who knows? Um, I kind of made plans with a friend, so who knows? But, um, I'll, I'll stream this again soon. I'll, I'll try to hold off on the quests as much as I can, but for now, it seems like we're rescuing Roban. We'll see how that goes next time, or maybe I'll come back and be like, yeah, so we, so Roban's dead. <laughs> or whatever. Um, could she be that? Yes, she's got a big question mark on her. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, uh, I'll post a video up on YouTube when the time comes. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Until then, stay safe, take care, peace out.